I think I'll I'll try the build again. To be perfectly honest, I actually like, I I don't recall some of the the timings for uh, for like the eBay, for example. So it's not going to be perfectly executed by any stretch. Not enough minerals. Honestly, I think I should just... I'm not a big, like, tank guy in not the first place. Minerals. I really don't like using tanks. I mean, TVT, you pretty much have to use them. Not Fine with minerals. them there, but... TVP and TVZ, I feel like tanks are not garbage. Aside from very specific situations and very specific positions. Additional supply not enough minerals. So, maybe I'll just basically do the same idea, 6 Hellions, Liberator, and just go straight into Mines. I've been SCV scouting in TVT lately too, I've been skipping it for a long, long time. Just surprised the fact it doesn't make its own tech lab, it's not that much of a delay. Well, uh, if, you know what, in all, in all honesty, I should, um, you know, I should state that I don't have the build order down very well at all. So it could be, like, it could be that I'm misremembering it, and you might be right. Like, I don't think that's the case, but I, I wouldn't bet a large sum of money that I remember it perfectly. So you could be right. Uh, I do know it's, like I said, 715 move out, um, three tanks. I, uh, like I said, I think like 16 Marines, something like that. Stim, combat shields, plus one. What's going on? Okay, this is an expansion. Huh? Ah, you me. Uh, okay, I don't know what happened there. Alright, I, I actually need to pay attention here. I'm starting to just screw up royally. Okay, once I, I'll, I'll talk more about it in a second. But um, but so my my point though was that uh, uh, basically just don't don't judge the build off of that wh whatever the heck I did in that game because the stim is not supposed to be that late. And speaking of late. I really need to pay attention, Our otherwise, SCP yeah, I'm just going to lose the game. Clearly not good enough to commentate while playing right now. Usually it's not a big problem. Any cool TVP builds? Um, Add on. Hmm. Complete. Additional supply depots. Uh, have you done Bjorn's build? Additional supply depots. I can't make it work, but he makes it work really well. The uh, the eBay block into Hellion harassment into four Widow Mine drop. It's a really cool build. I found it to be a lot more technical. Than I uh, than I had anticipated, and I had a lot of trouble making it work. But if your multitasking is really good, it's really powerful. So I would recommend that one. Um, let's see. I'm trying. Okay, you shoot. I'm trying to keep up with chat. 
Just uh, forgive me, guys. I'm going to take a look after this game because I know I'm going to get slaughtered. This guy has decent MMR, too. So I've got to really be on top of my game. Additional supply depots required. Okay. Additional supply depots required. SCV ready. It's your time. Go Not ahead. enough minerals. We hear you. SCV ready. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Our SCVs are under attack. What's going on? This person requires assistance. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Bad news. Not enough minerals. This better be good. Yes, yeah, eat. Ready to plunder. Not enough minerals. SCV ready. Big job, huh? Huh? Not enough minerals. Roger. Not enough. Ready to plug it. SCV ready. Raven has to be around here somewhere, right? Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. SCV ready. Command center upgrade. SCV ready. SCV ready. Uh, Insufficient SP gas. SCV ready. Okay. Research complete. Ready to plunder. Insufficient. He sees me moving out. Insufficient Vespine gas. Oh, uh, wait. SCV ready. Stay here. Add on. Complete. SCV ready. Insufficient Vespine gas. Ready to roll out. SCV ready. Oh, uh, wait. SCV ready. Additional supply depots required. Additional supply depots. This guy's map coverage is good. SCV ready. Not enough minerals. SCV ready. Additional. Not enough minerals. Not enough. Mineral field depleted. Additional. Not add on. Complete. Search complete. SCV ready. Not enough minerals. Not enough. Want a piece of me, boy? Not enough minerals. Not enough. We could use some help here.
Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. This better be good. Ready for dust off. Not enough. Not enough minerals. You want a piece of me, boy? Uh, wait, ready. This better be good. Okay, I need to go up to more racks really soon now. Like now. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Ready for dust off. He has a lot of tanks. How many marines does he have? Okay, he has enough. And he's gonna look to drop over here. He still doesn't have combat shields. Not enough minerals. Nope. Additional supply No scan. Not enough minerals. Talk to me. Wait, what? What what the heck happened there? Some kind of a terrible rally. <laughs> Not cool. Talk to me. We could use some help. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. That's upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. This better be good. Not enough minerals. Not enough 
GG! Woo! Alright! What's up, Jiggy? Nice three prong, two base. Oh, for TVP. Actually, I'd be curious to see that too. How you doing, Jiggy? I am very happy with this one, considering how poorly I started with the late factory. My factory is probably like 30 seconds late because I was. I'm blaming it on chat. <laughs> I was looking at chat. I stopped paying attention. Factory was super late. It was for drift. Yeah, I know. That's why I said I was, uh, I'd be curious to see it too. But yeah, because uh, I really would like a good TVP build. I haven't been able to make anything work. Uh, aside from my build. But as you've heard me say before, I don't want to play my build all of the time. I really want to find something decent. You know that build? It's a U Thermal 3. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I do know that build. <sighs> I think the problem is, if I if I want to make something work, I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to like practice it really hard, and I haven't done that yet. I've practiced some builds, I've tried them out on ladder, but I haven't had really any consistent success with a lot of different builds. But I think I just have to polish them, put a lot more work into them, and polish them. You know, uh, that's true. You know what? Um, did you send me that build order before? I can't remember. But so I tried that Byun build with the eBay block into Hellions and then into four Widowmine drop and did not have success with it. It's, like, it's really, really technical. Because you're doing a lot of stuff on the other side of the map and you have to do a lot of like... Um, building switches, uh, add-on switches, I should say, and I was just not crisp with it at all, so it didn't work out well. This guy's map vision was good. And one thing I can say for myself here that I've not done in the past is I didn't force the engagement. He knew where I was. I did not force it. Like, there was a time, not too long ago, where I would just try to throw down the interference matrices, rush forward, get into, you know, siege up, and hope I win the fight. Uh, this time, I tried to make sure I took the right fight, as opposed to, the fir you know, like, the first fight that I came across. And repositioning here gave me a huge advantage. Uh, thank you, Doom Cookie. I appreciate that. I'm going to take a look at it off-stream, and I'll probably practice it off-stream, too. Seize up! Wow, this could have gone even better if these two were sieged on time. This did go really well. Linked it in the server too. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. This went really well for me. Don't mean to toot my own horn. I'll, I'll definitely call myself out when I make mistakes and make really stupid plays, which happened today, but... I will say I think I played this game pretty well. This guy was like high 4700, so he's at least Master 2. Possibly Master 1, I don't know. So I'm pretty happy with how this one went. Landing the Viking is a mistake. Uh, you mean over here, or uh, just... You mean landing the Vikings in general, or when I landed them over here? Yeah, I didn't see... So if you meant landing it over here, I didn't see he had a tank there. And I wanted to hit this line. I thought it was pretty safe because I had this ramp under control. But then he brought a tank here and I lost. Uh, I landed two Vikings here and I lost one Viking. But if you mean in general, then... Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Need that air for tanks. Yeah. 
definitely. They're crucial. Um, I did take out all of his Vikings, though. I don't think he has any right now. Yeah, he has zero. I knew I killed all of his Vikings in the fight. So, and I did want to push harder. You know, maybe it was, maybe could have been a better decision. But like I said, I knew I had air superiority. So, could have just retreated. Like at this point, I could have retreated. Uh, I wanted him to spend more to clean this up. I'm already getting my fourth base. Uh, are my upgrades ahead? I actually don't think they are. No, my upgrades are like slightly behind. In general, risky in this particular case, so it was a mistake. Yeah, um, I actually don't know if the tank was in vision, to be honest. I didn't see it in game. I heard it shooting my Viking and then lifted. But yeah, the reason why I landed them here is because I knew I killed all of his Vikings. And I wanted to do more damage, but there's something to be said for keeping them alive and retreating. I think, it like, you know, all in all, the engagement was obviously very good for me. It, uh, it went in my favor, but um, I also got my fourth base, or I'm getting my, uh, my fourth base. It's about to finish up behind this. Didn't kill too many workers, and I guess now that I... I don't know. If a tank's here, it can definitely hit these patches, but that I don't think that would have been worth it for me to really try to fight for that position. I think I did the right thing controlling this ramp. Sure, you killed his air, but no need to throw away the air. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't really disagree with you. Keeping the Vikings alive would be nice. I did end up making a few more Vikings later, so you know there's something to be said for just sending them home and repairing them. So yeah, like I said, can't really disagree with you. This sensor tower got up just in time for him, like just in time. He was actually moving out of position. I think I did a good job covering his bases too. Just keeping an eye on his fourth base. I knew I out-traded him, so theoretically I should be able to starve him as long as I don't take a terrible trade. He has 11 tanks. I have, holy crap, I have 79 marines. That's nuts. Oh, and yeah, there's this drop that I was expecting. What did he do with that? Because I, I saw three medevacs with marines moving to the right. But I don't think he ever attacked here. This is when I started, yeah, so I put up these additional turrets. If there are no tanks, one medevac job, Marines get to kill Nick tanks, so there's that too. Not a big deal in this game. Yeah, no, nah, that's, uh, that is definitely true. Definitely true. I was thinking I might have a chance to win the game there, or to, uh, I, sh I should say, like, to break through his army completely and then hit the mineral line. But I had, uh, he had just enough to defend. As I said, I still won. It cost him a lot to defend. But I thought I might be able to push all the way through. I couldn't. He's like... Okay, so he just brought these back. Okay. Yeah, so I knew I got surrounded here. And that's what it was. It was the force that was here ran all the way around here. Got it. I don't know if he... Let me check his vision. I don't know if he scanned or what. Doesn't look like he scanned. So I guess he just changed, um, changed his path. And... This was a little bit questionable, because obviously this army is going to lose. In a head-on engagement, it's going to lose. But that's why I went for uh, this attack and this attack. I knew I was going to hit his fourth. Uh, I scanned ahead, saw no turrets here, and dropped these in the main. I thought about dropping them here, and then I realized, yeah, you know what? His tanks can probably fire on them. So if I drop in the main, it's going to pull his, and he wants to defend it. Uh, it's either going to keep his reinforcements at home and or he's going to have to pull units farther back. So that's why I went deeper in and dropped in the main, even though he would see it, presumably. But yeah, so this is pretty much a sacrificial army. But the, the thinking was it's going to allow me to kill the fourth base for sure. And then probably get some damage done in the main base, too. And it actually worked out really well. Still have my reinforcements at home getting my fifth base so yeah this is a really nice position so yeah we've got this fight here this is landing here he actually canceled that it was pretty good but i ended up coming down here and hitting this so he did a good job here actually i did not expect him to be able to defend this base but he lost the orbital in the main i guess maybe i should have targeted the ebays i actually thought about targeting the ebays but i, I figured the orbital would be more valuable i actually don't know if that was the right call I 
I don't know, 3-3 three, three versus 2-2 two, two for like probably the rest of the game or kill an orbital when I know he is only on three bases. I guess either way. I don't know. What do you think? Orbital was a good call? Okay, yeah. I, yeah, I think, you know, either one would be a good decision, but with him only being on three bases, I think killing the orbital was probably the better call. I, I know he's all in now. And, like, when he just, uh, just starts sending everything across the map, I know for a fact he's all in. I just defend this attack and he's done. Uh, he does have a lot of tanks. Probably could have handled that a little more smoothly. I don't know, though. I'm not really sure where the Marines could have gone. They should have, like, fanned out here, but I just didn't have them ready in time. And yeah, from this point, it's over. That was a good game. I'm happy with how I played that one for once. If he's on five bases, then delaying upgrades. Yeah, totally agree. Totally agree. Okay, I thought he was high 4700s. 